Good day. Tamers, welcome back to another episode with me, Agito Swiftly. And we're apparently already in spoiler season for BT12, which I was not expecting today. Um, I don't know if it's just because they are kind of in a bit of a schedule where they do have to start bringing out some BT12 stuff. But the BLZ Mon stuff, obviously having a bit of an issue with the manufacturing side of things, has pushed it back. And so now they're having to bring things forward to try and recoup some uh, damages in terms of like support from the fans and probably shareholders as I do believe they do have shareholders but if we look at these cards we have today we've been introduced to this beautiful new Digimon Chaos Dramon X Antibody which evolves from Machine Dramon or a Chaos Dramon for two cost at the start of your main phase put a Digimon card with Cyborg or Machine in its types from your trash under the Digimon as an evolution source both players turns this Digimon gains every effect of every Chaos Dramon and Machine Dramon in its evolution sources both players turns once per turn when this Digimon is about to be deleted. Trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. So why this is so good is you are gaining the effects, so you're not getting your DP reduced. You can't get deleted. You can't get bounced. You've got both sources underneath. It's this thing you don't have to worry about. There is obviously two Chaos Dramons that we can have currently, so you do have to pick and choose which one's better for the situation you're in. During the game one is where you're going to figure out what you're playing against, and then game two is where you go, okay, then I know exactly which Chaos I want to be in. This also has the wonderful effect of the uh, Machine Digimon, which is, oh, look, I'm going to just, well, you're going to get deleted. And you go, oh, I'm just going to remove two of my sources. And then if you use this beautiful card at the end, Super Genocide Attack 2. Now, this does have a bit of a weird wording, because from what I originally read, you had to delete your own Digimon. And then when you deleted your Digimon, it then would pop the opponent's Digimon. But this is what I've currently got now, which is later on than I first read it, which is, if you have a level 6 Digimon machine in its traits, you may use this card ignoring its colour requirements. Obviously, if you're a machine, you're going to have access to red, but now you'll have access to both. At main, choose one of your Digimon with machine or cyborg in its traits. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon whose DP is less than the chosen Digimon. I do believe you had to delete one and then you delete your opponent's, but obviously because you can use your effect of machine drift to just go, no, I don't. You don't die. You obviously just remove two sources instead of dying. Uh, insecurity is by trashing a Digimon from your hand with machine or cyclone its traits, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon whose play cost is less than this card. card. It's play cost, which is pretty good because sometimes you do want to get rid of like a big BT meat stick, and then sometimes you just want to get rid of something a bit smaller. So, for instance, you can throw in um, what is in black, let's for instance, there's level three on the field. There's nothing else you can do. They smashed into security. You just play out a, a Hagori, I think it's got a cost of three. So, I think most level threes will then be defeated at that point. Uh, but no, this is a really good card. It's essentially generically just cycling your own card, so that way you don't have to uh, worry about having no trash. So, you know, <laughs> if you've got four of these in hand, uh, like turn two or three when you've got your, your board set up, you just essentially go, okay, then throw this down, get rid of two sources, your opponent gets deleted, they lose a the security. Following turn, I think it's Analog Man will delete, will try to delete a new machine. You go, okay, then. What's the, uh, so you will then remove two more sources, uh, get rid of opponent security. At the start of main phase, you'll gain a, a source back in, so now you're back at two sources. And then you can just keep cycling like that if you really wanted to. It's a fairly good card. It's a fairly good thing. The deck did need something to make it better. The last couple of bouts of support for this deck haven't really gone as well as they should have done. And in all fairness, it wasn't really where it needed to be. But to be fair, I like where this is. It's something a little bit different. It's quite interesting. And the top end of this deck is even better. You can go into uh, Ragnar Lord if you want to. You can go into Blitz Omnimon just to finish games off with Blitz unsuspending uh, it's really good I look forward to actually trying to play this game myself and we guys will see this I think like maybe April time that's Agita Swiftly for this brief little update and I'll see you guys next time or possibly for some BT10 news so have a good one goodbye